In this episode of Vivian Tries, there is adult language. If you're easily offended, please turn the video off now. Hello, you guys, and welcome back to another Vivian Tries. On this Vivian Tries, I have for you something a little bit different. Today, we're trying 10 weird Walmart products. Number one. So the first item that we're gonna try was not something I purchased recently from Walmart, but it has been a couple of years since I purchased it from Walmart. And you're probably thinking, why are you putting it in this video, Vivian? Well, I'm putting it in the video because it's coming up on the expiration date. So I thought, hey, it's about to expire anyway. I might as well try it with my folks. Let them know if you keep this until the expiration date, is it still gonna be as good as it was when you first bought it? Like it's cool if you buy something and taste it and you're like, oh, that's delicious, but it was made like a month ago. I've had it about three years. We all need to be ready. Doomsday. Isn't those packages like those military, what are those called? E emergency meal, ready? Ready to eat meals, meals, ready to eat? I don't remember. E e I don't know. This is probably the same military food, huh? This is a barbecue sandwich. You see it right there in the picture. I brought myself up a little plate. Listen, it might be doomsday, but she still can keep it classy. That picture was impressive, don't you think? I was impressed, I'm like, damn. If at the end of the world I can get a sandwich like that, I might not be hating my life, you know? <laughs> I don't think it's gonna look like that. I think it's gonna be smushed. Now you can eat it straight out of the package, but there are some options here on the packaging. You can boil it in water for six minutes in the pouch. You can stick it in the microwave for 20 to 30 seconds, or you can toast it in the oven. Well, on doomsday, we're not gonna have none of that. So we're just gonna taste it like this because that's, that's really what's gonna happen. I'm ready for my doomsday meal. In a previous video that I did a years ago, I tasted the spaghetti and meatballs and it was divine. I'm telling you, you're probably thinking, yeah, right, Vivian. But it was, considering it came out of a pouch. It was divine. Ready? One, two, three, go. Ooh, it does look like in the packaging, it's just smushed. If this is the kind of meal we're gonna have, we might make it. Look at it. What? It smells like a beef Pop-Tart. <laughs> and it looks like a beef Pop-Tart. Oh, you don't eat that part. You throw that away. That's just like one of those little dry packs, right? It says, do not eat. You see? Do not eat, dum-dum. It looks like a freaking <laughs> beef Pop-Tart. That's what it looks like. It smells like an empanada. Hey, doomsday meals are not gonna be as bad as I thought. It is beef barbecue. Let's see. Look at that. Listen, this is not a steak dinner, but considering it's the end of the world and like there's nothing but bugs to eat. Somebody pulled out one of these when you come over to visit and they're like, listen, I don't got much, but I got one of these barbecue sandwiches. You want one? You're gonna be like, hell yeah. Shit, I'm eating bugs at my house. This is pretty good. Let's see, three years later after it was made. <laughs> Ready, one, two, three, go. Dude, that's actually Good. I was gonna say delicious, but come on now. Let's keep it real. It's not delicious, but it's good. Listen, it's delicious. If you're considering everything, I'm not considering today's world. I'm talking about there's nothing outside, but like a scene out of one of those doomsday movies. In that scenario, this is delicious. It has the texture of a protein bar. So if you're in the market for doomsday meals, maybe some camping meals, I say go get some. They're pretty good. So I'm going to give our barbecue doomsday sandwich five Vivian heads. And it's pretty good considering it's about to expire. Number two. It's like a lip mask to make your lips beautiful and soft and not all chappy. <laughs> Nobody wants no chappy ass lips on them. You need to keep those lips uh, moisturized and this little mask you just put it on and boom hopefully it keeps you can put it on your nip what girl you can do all kinds of things with this so what I think it is it's like a little silicone mask that you just put over your lips I don't know how I'm gonna talk how am I gonna try this thing out uh, you know I just buy these things because they look cool and then I get them home and I'm like, how am I going to do this? It has vitamin C, collagen, so my lips are going to be beautiful. Nobody wants crusty lips now. Don't have no crusty ass lips on me. This is for girls and guys. Don't think this is just for girls. Here's what it looks like. 
it's in the shape of your lips. <laughs> okay, you just peel it off like that. Ooh, it's ooey gooey. <laughs> what? What's on top? What is this? Now you put it on your lips. You ready? Oh, it smells like coconut. Yes. Okay, guys, it's been five minutes. It smells so yum. It smells like coconut. It feels really nice. It's slipping off my face. I don't know if it's because I'm trying to talk or because it's not that great, but I love the way it feels. Mm. This will now be a new part of my little beauty regimen because this feels so nice and my lips feel so freaking moisturized. I don't think they're reusable. I think you have to throw them away after one use. So I'm going to give the lip mask five Vivian heads because it is nice. Oh, your lips are going to look good for that hot date. Number three. Number four. Our next items we're going to try together, we have here body glitter and body stencils. We're going to see if it's cute. And I have a little brush here that we're going to paint that shit on. Okay, let's see. Wow, it's really nice. Oh, I guess you got to cut out whichever one you want. I thought I could just go like this. I'm going to do the flower. Like, you have to cut it out. To, uh, is this not reusable? Is a one-time use too? Well, that freaking sucks. I need it to be reusable. Now I'm going to place my tattoo. We're going to put it right here. This is how I'm going to do it. I don't think I'm following the instructions right. That's pretty good if I put it right there. Oh my god. I think you have to have some kind of glue. I didn't buy the glue. I just bought... I thought you just needed this and this. I didn't realize I needed glue. Let's just try it. For Halloween girls, if you want to be like Rainbow Bright, if you want to... Ooh, Rainbow Bright used to have a tattoo on her face, didn't she? Here is our purple. And <laughs> there is... <gasps> even better! Look, so pigmented, it's so pigmented. What you're gonna do is you're gonna pick your color, then you're going to, ch -ch -ch -ch, and I'm gonna have to look at the camera so I can see what the hell I'm doing. It is beautiful, oh my god. Okay, let me see. Oh, it's getting all over me though. Okay, now let's try the purple. Are you allowed to double dip in the beauty community? I'm totally double dipping here. Put that on this side. Oh my god, look at that. Okay, this side. Hey, am I doing this right? I'm probably doing this way wrong. So now let's peel off the stencil to see what we have underneath. It's under there. Oh, I hope you guys can see it. Oh, it's so pretty. Can you guys see it? Look how pretty that is. I mean, I have a lot of extra glitter, but I just have to clean that off. It's very faint, but it is so freaking pretty pretty i think with a better brush i will be able to apply the glitter a little bit better but i do love the way it looks now i don't know how long this is gonna last on me if i put it somewhere like right here where i can actually see what the hell i'm doing i think these would be really cool to use now i'm gonna give the stencil three vivian heads and i'm gonna give the body glitter four vivian heads number five it is a kitchen timer in the shape of a death star you guys <laughs> I can't. It's so beautiful. I just want to mount it and put it somewhere. <gasps> when time is up, it has a super laser sound. I need a baby screwdriver. Got it. It's coming. It's coming, you guys. Okay. Oh. Oh, but it has batteries. Wait. Oh, okay. You probably have to clip them into place, right? My husband's going to love it, too. This would be a cool present for someone, too, huh? One minute. Shh, shh, shh. We're going to have to turn off the lights so that we can see the laser. That scared the shit out of me. It has a button here. Pizza's done. Okay, that should be good, right? Ready? One, two, three, go. So it's not the best quality of plastic. I mean, it feels kind of cheapy. I'm going to give the Death Star Kitchen Tiger.
timer. Three Vivian heads. Number six, long lasting smudge proof lip paint. So you can use it just as the lip, like a matte color, or you can add some glitter. You have seen those girls on Instagram who have like the glitter lips. I'm like, hell yeah, I want some glitter lips like that. Hopefully it's not sticky. I hate sticky lipstick. So the first thing you do is you're gonna apply your lip gloss. It was like a blood red. Ooh. It's gonna look so beautiful. I wonder if I can use these same glitters. I bet I can. Oh yeah, it's the same texture as those other ones. So I bet you could use those other colors on your lips. Let's see. It is so pretty. But will it stay on for hot date night, right? At the end of this video, I'm literally gonna have glitter all over the place. And glitter is a bitch to clean. I don't know where I'm going with the fucking glitter lips, but ooh, Halloween's gonna be fun this year. So I'm gonna give the lip paint four Vivian heads and the lip glitter, I'm gonna give that four Vivian heads as well. I bet that little bit of glitter in there is gonna last you forever. Number seven is a 3D pen. Ooh, like a 3D printer, but it's a 3D pen. We're gonna draw some stuff. Your kids are gonna love this. You know with those new 3D printers, people are printing all kinds of stuff. There are my instructions. I need batteries, really? No, it comes with batteries. Okay, here's the pen. So all you have to do is put the plastic over it and then just trace. Yes, sir. Okay, so I'm just gonna trace that right there. That. I don't know what that is. You get this, I don't know what that is either. And then you get the actual pen. Cool. This one is a pink color. So you have to buy the refills like this. I thought it was kind of like a hot glue gun where you know where you stick the glue, you know, like that. It's not. And then we put this on like that. Okay, this is really cool if it works. Okay, I have a feeling it's not gonna work. I can't even screw the lid on. Okay, so that's ready. Now what is this? So when you're drawing into the air is when you want to turn on your light so that it helps dry the, the ink or paint or I don't know what this stuff in here is called. I would put like tape to tape this down. That's a tip. One, two, three, go. Ooh, it's not hot pink like in the picture. Oh no. Oh, it's gonna take practice. This technique is better. Oh, maybe not. This is what I have. It's a beautiful, I don't know what, but I wanna build up because it's supposed to be 3D. It's supposed to be like a 3D printer. Screw this. Oh my God, the light dries it. Oh, I just made like a 3D sculpture of something. I don't know what the light does. Oh my God, look. Okay, that's not smart. Okay, wait, don't. See how high it can get. Oh, it has like a height limit. Okay, let's just leave it there. Let's see. Okay. Here, I'm gonna build a bridge. It doesn't work very well. Wait, oh, maybe I gotta get it real thick. Look. Yes, that's what it is, Vivian. I was making it too thin. Yes. Squeeze really good. Look, I got towers. I'm gonna combine them like this. There's the door to the house. You're gonna need a lot of these little tubes because it's gonna take a lot of it to really make something. I mean, your kids might hate it after. Look, and this thing keeps falling off. Are you impressed with my artwork? I'm gonna sell it on eBay. We got it. You know somebody who bought that. <laughs> I am. Now this, I'm gonna sell on eBay too for like a dollar, cause it sucked. Y'all need to work on this still. It's not market ready yet. I'm gonna give this thing one Vivian head. Number eight, Go Girl. Let me tell you what it's for. Go Girl allows women the convenience of standing to urinate. It's clean, portable, discreet, and reusable. I don't think so. I appreciate the idea. It might be genius in an emergency situation, but what am I supposed to do with this thing after I pee through it? Put it in my pocket? No, ma'am. Put it in my purse? No, ma'am. 
So, no. I just pee like that. Like girls pee now. I don't understand, but maybe I'll get it after I open this thing and see it and touch it and feel it and go, okay, maybe. It's recommended for use during camping, boating, travel, festivals, and sports. Nope, still not convinced. Oh, this one is a beautiful pink, purple, lavender color. Only time I think I would use this is if I was in a nasty bathroom and I was not gonna touch or sit on anything, then I would take this out. After I used it, I would walk over to the sink, rinse it, wash it out with soap, then put it under their hand blower, let it dry, and then I'd put it in my purse in my pocket. Otherwise, it's going in the trash after I use it. I'm sure the people that came up with this are like geniuses, but I'm just saying, day-to-day -day stuff, camping, no. Festival? Hell no. I mean, those bathrooms are nasty. I'm not gonna roll this little thing back up like this and put it in my pocket. You're nuts. I'm just being 100% honest. I'm not doing all that. I don't know why there's a bag in here. It just seems like this is a lot of work. What? <laughs> okay, hold on a second. Let me... <laughs> Let me see. No. 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 <laughs> they even give you toilet paper? Who buys this? They probably tell you to put it in this baggie and then take it home and clean it. This is too much work. It goes on like this. You do not put it up like this. That's wrong. If I'm in the woods trying to... <laughs> I was gonna say, if I'm in the woods trying to strap this on, <laughs> what are people gonna think? No, they're not gonna, oh, she's gonna go pee standing up. They're gonna go, this freakazoid is doing some shit in the woods that we don't wanna know about. We knew she was a freakazoid, but why is she strapping on some lavender stuff? So if you have to go bathroom, number one only, then you put this up on your chitch, and then you pee standing up. So you don't have to squat, or you don't have to sit on nothing nasty. Like, I'm gonna have to carry this and a baggie, and then I'm gonna have to take this nasty ass wet, pissed on silicone with me, and then I gotta wrap it up. Where am I gonna put this? In my pocket? It doesn't fit. It feels nice. It looks like it's made of really nice material. Do not flush. Got it. You can't, don't try to flush this. That's just common sense. You're supposed to roll it back up the way it was, right? Roll it back in this baggie. No, guys, this is way TMI. <laughs> but have you seen those period cups? I think it's called a diva cup. No, like in your head is like, oh, that's a great idea. But in real life, that shit don't, no, that's too much work. Let me demonstrate, not on me, because now you're perverted. On their website it says you can just Put it on like this and just go to town. I thought that you had to like take off all your clothes, then use it. But no, they're saying like a dude, like a straight up dude. What if you don't place it in the right place and then you're gonna have a real accident? So you guys can see it on camera, ready? And then you're gonna, let's try this again. Make sense? <laughs> I'm happy peeing like a girl. If you're camping and your best friend pulls out one of these, you're gonna be like, you do too much, girl. Just go over there and squat. You're good. <laughs> this is serious business. This is a medical silicone. Have you used one of these before? Do you love it? If you do, please, by all means, in the comments down below, let me know. So those are my thoughts. I thought my glitter would be gone by now, but it's not. It's still intact. Number nine, three colors of hair chalk. I also did the hot hues as seen on television hair chalk in one of my Vivian tries and I loved those. Oh, look what it looks like. There's the purple, blue, pink. Let's see. Oh no. Oh wait, there we go, look. You see it and just do it there like that. Okay, this one's way harder to use than those hot hues. Those hot hues were cool. Ew. It's like sticky. Do you see the texture of my hair? The hot hues was not like that. The hot hues was actually chalk, dry. So it wasn't leaving like a goo on your hair. Oh no. I've had such bad luck with all this shit I bought at Walmart. What is going on? Walmart? It's like, it's not chalk. It's like sticky. Sticky. These things sucked bad. I would not recommend these at all. So I'm gonna give this hair chalk zero. 
Vivian heads. Nothing. You don't even get one. No, your daughters are going to look crazy with their hair all slicked back. Half in color and half not in color. Number 10. I want to know who buys this toy. Now it can be used for pranks and all kinds of stuff, but I want to know how many of you have purchased something like this because this is nasty. <laughs> I need to know who thought of this and who thought that's a good idea for a toy. It says here, looks like the real thing. Let's see what this is. What? <laughs> Look at the mold. Look at the mold. <laughs> Look at the mold. Could you imagine working at the factory where they're making this mold and going, what? <laughs> no. <laughs> Here, you might see two additional little pieces. When you open it, it tells you what those are. That's a corn. <laughs> and that's a peanut. <laughs> you nasty son of a bitch. Who made this? <laughs> so it's a complete mold with peanuts and corn. <laughs> I guess for a prank, but for like just for your kids to play with. What, what are you doing? <laughs> what? Oh, it's like green. <laughs> I'm trying to get through this as fast as I can. If your stuff has a shade of green like this, get that shit checked out. Because that is not normal. <laughs> now I'm just curious. Squeeze these two together. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at my masterpiece. <laughs> it works. It's... It doesn't... Oh my god, did I just put that up to my face? <laughs> Why do I smell everything? <laughs> it's not, yeah, it's not bad. The smell smells like just normal Play-Doh. I, I mean, it's pretty realistic looking. <laughs> I can't even describe it. Like I'm so over this one. I'm gonna give it to my sister. She loves to prank her kids. <laughs> Too much. So I'm gonna give this Play-Doh do four Vivian heads. All right, you guys, so that is it for another Vivian Tries. I hope that you have enjoyed this nasty ass video. If you have, give it a big fat thumbs up for me in the comments down below. Let me know if you've seen something cool at Walmart that you think I should try and it might get featured in an upcoming episode. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. I'm putting out one to two videos every week for your entertainment. Don't forget to share the video with your family and your friends and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!